You should expect to see drums with minimal wear and brakes that have plenty of pad left on them. And that's what you should expect to see. As you can see here, the drum's about gone. It's completely shot. It's got pieces missing out of it. It's cracked. And it's just crumbling apart. The brake shoes are about, well, they're out of service violation for sure. And they're about shot. Brakes, that's an out of service violation. And so is the drum. Looking at the brakes, you can see that the drums are crumbling apart. The brakes are uh, down to the minimum. Uh, that one there is an out of service violation, most likely. Uh, the other drums are not much better. This tire is definitely an out of service violation, the way it's chopped out. This spring brake canister was so corroded, you can see it's just basically peeling apart, that I had to torch it off. Uh, I don't recommend this unless you really know what you're doing with these spring brakes. They're, they're, they're very dangerous. You can see this one's caged. I caged it and everything, and I just torched the bolt. You certainly don't want to torch any other part of this mechanism. This is a spring brake tool. They can usually be found. Uh, they can usually be found on the side of the spring brake canister. There's a holder for them. I generally don't leave them in there. I usually take them out and put them in my toolbox. Um, that way they don't get seized up. Like this one here has got a tool in the side of it, but it froze up inside there. It's of absolutely no value. You'll break. You'll break the side of the canister before you get that tool out of there. Um, the way it works is you stick it down in there. If you can see down in the hole, probably not. There's a there's a, a a square key, and it fits down in there. See, like so, and just wiggle it around a little bit, and then you get it to lock in that key, and you tighten it down, and you keep tightening it down. And what it does is it cages the spring that's in the spring brake mechanism. And it'll pull the arm all the way back and cage the spring and compress it. That way you can work with it. 